The film unfolds the story of a six-year-old boy named Lee. Lee is currently reading at the Shaolin Monastery, staying in the location where he trains in various forms of martial arts. Since he was a child, he has only ever trained in the martial art up until this point. But his training is still not stopped, but he wants to get more progress in it. Following this, it is discovered that Lee enters a monastery, and he asks apology from the people who are there. He did not commit any wrong deed, nor he has violated any rules and regulations, so why is he apologizing? This apology is actually for that act which he is going to act in future. There was a trial of his skills after a time for which he has practiced hardly, and his test is with the seniors, in which he had to show the victory while fighting with his seniors. He is seen conversing them, then a monk is seen, coming from one side, who attacks Lee. Even Lee is shocked, but he was so skilled and trained, Lee instantly makes a counterattack on Monk. Now Monk kicks him away, but he withdraws instead of falling down, and he returns back while bouncing with a pillar. Now he is going to fight with Monk in such a way as Monk did, or he attacks him too much. Now Lee kicks him constantly. After this, Monk begins to feel so feeble. Now Lee had become successful here because it is not a child's play to defeat Monk. Lee also closes him into a basket. Then he faces such a monk who was stronger, and he had swords in his both hands. Because Lee had only one stick, so he fights with that monk with this, but he also defeats that monk. Now there is turn of third monk, standing there. Lai advances to him. Third monk did not want that Lai may make an attack him as he arrives, so he dazzles Lee's eyes with the help of mirror trick, so he may not attack him at first because of dazzling eyes. Lai attacks him while sliding there as monk is going to attack him. Now Lai succeeds here. He had proved this here that, that he may defeat anyone whom he wants, because he has perfect skills. Then Lai comes out of that monastery. This fight affects as such as the people who were thinking him inferior, or who were saying, he is young. How can he defeat anyone, and how can he possess many skills? So all people including all three monks had started to respect him because he deserved this. He meets a head monk there, who tells him that, how much scores he has got and this score is 89 out of 100. They also tell him, it is about incredible for his age fellows to gain such score. He has proved this after getting such scores that he deserves better, and he is moving to another school for the further studies, and he had to live with another family later. Lai becomes so excited, hearing this, and he immediately gets in the bus. Now the family with whom he had to stay, reaching the city, he is a scientist, and the persons with whom Lai will interact, they are the scientist's son and daughter, and that girl's name is Lan, Lan is so talented because she is the captain of his school's martial art club. Then some information is also given about Lane's brother, and his activity is to take food. It means eating is his favorite hobby. Then it is seen that Lan receives a call of her father. Lan was appearing angry with her father because he had not visited at their home for a long time. Lan's father scientist gives her words that I will soon come to home. Don't be sad. He also tells his daughter with this, on which project that he is working. It was such a device which was so effective, having many advantages. Additionally, a group of criminals was pursuing it. Scientist says to his daughter, I have sent you a gift. Check after opening. It is revealed here. This parcel has the same device. Scientist has sent this device to his daughter for this reason, so she may remain safe from all those criminals. Then Lan's doorbell is rung. They move to check and see that there is no one else but Lee. They get excited, seeing this. They forget that they are talking with their father on video call. An unexpected sight is seen on the other side of the video call. Some criminals had reached the scientist, as they put questions about that device to the scientist. Scientist becomes ignorant saying, he has no awareness about any device. Scientist further tells that he is even not working on such a device, but he is working on such technology, through which his children may communicate with their late grandmother. Criminals do not believe in his story, and they check the footage of CCTV camera. They come to know. That device has been sent to his house by scientist. They make scientist their captive. Now Lan is seen who is opening her gift. Opening the gift, Panda Keychain appears from there. That device was demanding a new password while touching this. Lan speaks before it. Which type of the password? She was not understanding anything. Otherwise, she was also exhausted. She falls asleep, keeping it safe. In the next morning, Lan and Lee are going to school together. Lan has stuck that keychain with her bag. Now gangsters had kept an eye on them for a long time. Then they come to know that it is the same device on which the scientist was working. Gangsters run away, grabbing the keychain from Lan's bag. Lai had observed all, and how could he allow them to grab this device? He reaches them, using many martial art tricks. Standing there, Lin is very inspired from him now knowing as he is a trained fighter. Now Lee and Lin teach them a lesson together and take back Panda Keychain, and they also beat them badly. But criminals snatch back that Panda Keychain from them, it seems that they are willing to be beaten again. All kids bring a dustbin there before he could escape from there, and the criminal jumps into it, finding no other way to escape. Now they had taken the Keychain back. 
All kids are so shocked seeing Lai, his young boy, how he is skilled as such. Then all begin to praise him. That child will be promoted in the next class whose fitness test passes. It signifies someone who is exceptionally fit or in peak physical condition. Now all kids were thinking themselves fit, and the assigned task will surely be carried out by them. But Lan's brother was so worried here, because he was obese kid and his weight had increased. It means that he had become so bulky. He was thinking that I may not leave behind. Gym master comes before after a time. Coming there, the gym master gives them activity at first. Race will be held among all of you. You all will have to run 100 meters in the given time. Now all kids begin to start this, but Lai covers 200 meter in the same given time. Lai completes two rounds. The participants had not got success to complete that round, even at once, as compared to Lai. Afterwards, next activity includes the push-up. All kids have five push-ups in that time in which Lai does 100 push-ups. Not only 100 push-ups, he also makes the push-up with one hand. Even he also does the push-up after standing opposite side. All kids compliment Lai. Lai is also feeling excitement. Next round includes the jumping activity. Lai was feeling relaxed here because he has no trouble from this round, because jumping was a piece of cake for him. Scientist is also shown there where the gangsters were tormenting him. Now the scene moves to the school where it is seen that Lin's match is being held. Lai thinks, let's compete each other in match as he is also expert, and I also. He says the same thing to Lin, so he agrees. Now a match is held between them. All kids are so excited, because both best players were competing each other at the same time. So all were so curious to know who wins the game. All had come forward, standing from their seats. Now it was good chance for the criminals, so they may grab that keychain again. Because everyone's focus was on their match, criminals come down and try to unfix that keychain, but it was stuck. On the other side, where Lee and Lin's match was being held, first of all, they were defending each other. When there is time to attack each other, then they both forbid to attack in respect of each other. Their match is tied, then all kids' focus move to them, where those criminals are trying to grab that keychain. As Lee and Lin observe them, then they reach them, leaving everything. But those gangsters move away to take that keychain while blackmailing making a girl a captive. After this, Lan goes to the principal office and informs police that her device has been stolen. Police assure them saying, don't worry, we will return you your device. On the other side, Lee is seen in sad mood who was thinking, as he is responsible behind all, because all were seated before. As his match started then, Lan also came to watch their match. If she was with her bag at that time, then that keychain may remain saved from stealing. Then all come to Lee after getting together and say to him, why are you putting all blame on you? You are not at fault. Lee feels good later. Next scene is shown where scientist is being kept after making him captive. They have also possessed the device. Now they activate their system, operating the device. That system is demanding for a password from them, and that scientist forbids to give the password here. All criminals try their best to hack the password. They again move to the scientist when they re in unsuccessful. Then a message is received in scientist mobile. It is by his daughter Lan. It is texted there, father. It is my birthday tomorrow. I will wait for you. Criminal gets a chance here and he blackmails scientist, taking its advantage. He says, tomorrow is your daughter's birthday. You will not be able to attend it, but I will be surely there. And you know about the next step. Next day, it is Lan's birthday and she is preparing for her birthday party at home, while other kids had gone to take gifts for her. Lan receives a message in her cell phone, which is by her father. He is texting his daughter, my daughter, come outside. I am waiting for you. Lan comes out of her house excitedly. As she goes outside, there was not her father but gangsters who came to abduct her. They carry her with them, but all kids arrive there at the spot luckily. They witness that criminals are taking Lan with them. They all kids chase them by their bicycles and reach the scientist's laboratory while pursuing them. There are criminals who have pointed the knife on Lan's neck. They are blackmailing the scientist. Now scientist is unaware about the password because he had sent that device to his daughter as a gift. It was Lan who had activated that device at first, so device had demanded password from her. Now Lan can open this password. Now they move to Lan and ask her the password, and they ask for the password from Lan. She responds on this what password. These were the same words spoken at the first time by her when the device turned on, and that password is accepted and their system is activated. It begins to run. All are excited. Now the gangsters were going to start a deal with their dealer, Lee and Lin, come inside from outside and begin to fight them. While Lan's younger brother gets success to release his sister and father, coming to lab covertly. When the head of the gangster notices, all his member are being killed, and they all have entered. Then he begins to run, lifting his briefcase, so I may escape, protecting my life. 
Now, Lan and the scientist begin to run after him. Lin was fighting out of the laboratory with the special attendant of that gangster. Special attendant was stronger, so Lin was facing a little difficulty to defeat him. Then, Lai joins him. Then they both begin to defeat him, using their skills together. They fight too much with him. They use many tricks in fighting. At last, the time approaches when they defeat that man. Then police raid the laboratory and arrest the rest of the gangsters. They imprison them. Lan, Lai, Scientist and all other people had got success, and the kids are awarded because of their boldness. The movie completes here.